all the all the time in the world to lease it up right now. I'll go try to get that done ahead of time. But in any event, in any event, I will close the day after he moved out. Moved out. And that was a very persuasive argument. We thought that was really cool, and he agreed. And he would try to push that. Weeks went by. Weeks went by. I I call him up, and he says, "Well." He said, I'm having a little trouble with the officers. I, I said, you don't even have my contract. You're supposed to send me a blank contract. And he said, well, why don't you send me a contract? So I made him an offer of $2.8 million. This is for a building that's 43,000 square feet. I offered him $2.8 million, which is about 60-something dollars a square foot, 50-something dollars a square foot, at a time when similar Class C buildings were selling for over 100. So... We negotiated back and forth. We came to $3.1 million. And I and it got to be 3.1 because I guess I wanted a $50,000 commission or $70,000 commission or something. So we had to plug that into the deal. Anyway, we got all done. And we I signed the final contract that we had all negotiated. And another several weeks went by. And I had called and left my number for him a couple of times. And one time, finally, he called me back. And I'm in my car, and I pull over, not far from there, a couple blocks away. And um, he says, well, we got a problem. I said, what's the problem? I said, well, we've taken the board of directors. And the problem is, we're selling this to you for less than our book value. You know, book value means what they got in it, what they paid for it. And now, what they paid for it was pretty arbitrary. They bought a little bank, the, 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 the Orange Bank of Orlando, and they bought the bank, and the building came with it. So some accountant said, so much for the building, so much for the business, right? So I said, I, and so I explained that to him. I said, you're, you're a real estate guy. You probably aren't a business guy, but this is what they did. And I said, I don't care what your book value is, and you guys couldn't tell me in 100 years how you arrived at that number. He says, okay. He says, but they do. They mean do. But they, they're looking at a pricey, and it says, you know, our book value is X, and you're paying Y, and you know, we're upside down. We don't like to sell at a lot. Don't buy high, sell low, right? All right? So he says, uh, what are we going to do? I says, I have no idea. I'm paying you a very fair price for what I thought for what we're going to do here. He said, well, I got a suggestion. He had a suggestion all along. He says, I could probably sell this idea to the board if I didn't have to, to include the parking lot. Now, I swear to you with my hand up, I didn't know there was a parking lot for that building because there isn't one attached to it at all. You look around that building, there's no parking lot. So what did I tell him? I said, there's no parking lot. No, no, he didn't say that. <laughs> I said, what are you talking about? He says, well, could you make me a price not including the parking lot? And I think they would, it would go down better. I said, you don't understand. This is a little building in the heart of downtown Orlando. It's a class C building. It's going to be... 84% vacant when you move out of it. I am going to have a heck of a time reletting it, let alone reletting it with no parking. I mean, it's just an impossible situation. If I put a price on what the loss of that parking meant to me, 